Bonjour ni hao! Welcome back to the Game Boys channel. I'm Johnny. And I'm Tim. We're gonna talk about our thoughts of the Little Mermaid movie, the live action, and then we're gonna open up some of these Disney Princess Figaro blind bags, even though it's from the animated movie, but you get where we're going with this. It's fine. <laughs> so if you just want to see the opening of the mystery blind bags, you could fast forward to this time in the video. So what do you think of the movie? I really liked it. Um, as most people know who's watching this video, The Little Mermaid is like my favorite animated feature. And so I was, I don't want to say worried, but I was, I, went, I was mindful with expectations. And I was very, very happy. I, like, it, I was, everything was exceeded. Like, all of my feelings were exceeded. I think that they handled the changes that they made. I was very pro. I thought that they did a really good job of rounding Eric out as a better character and making his struggle and what he was feeling parallel to Ari Ariel's very nicely. I really liked Same how... Same with Ursula. They, yeah. They made her more, like, not human. She's not a human, but... They, like, explain why she's so bitter. Mm-hmm. And I also thought that the cur that they added a layer to Ursula's spell that made Ariel forget that she w had to do it, which made it seem less like predatory. It was just a all of the changes they made felt sincere and authentic without feeling like too performative, which was really nice. My fa there's also like a new favorite line that they had, which was when Ariel tells her dad or Triton. Huh, Triton tells Ariel, he's like, I'm really sorry you had to lose your voice so that I could hear you. And I was like, yes, come on, new lines. Yeah. So we don't want to spoil too much, but like my takeaways, I did put this on my Instagram already, but it's fine. So like I loved the underwater scenes. It was just so calming and just so like everything you want. Under the Sea was awesome. Um, Kiss the Girl was good. It took a while to get there because they didn't really do anything special until the ending. Um, love the songs. There was a brand new Prince Eric song, which I love. Reminded me of kind of like a guy's version of Speechless, which from Aladdin. We were obsessed with that song. I, I didn't, I don't know, Ariel's song, um, it was fine. It wasn't like... I, I don't know. It wasn't a ballad, which I love ballads, but I like other songs. I don't know. It just kind of felt like a little bit like cheesy. Lynn. Um, but it was like, I don't know. But I loved the normal song. Hallie did great with those. I love reprise number two. That was yeah. so well done. And I cry. Like, there was something more powerful about the ending of the movie being alive, in live action. I don't know why. Like, and it's something that I, like, thought about when we were driving home, is that, like, the end of the movie, they're always, the mermaids always come up and wave goodbye as they sail off in the ship. But there was something, especially knowing that, like, the people on land on this island were conflicting and, like, not doing well with the sea people to see that very unity, loop. it was very loose. yeah to see them all like at this place of understanding and like harmony and peace was like really touching in a way that like caught me off guard and I was like starting to tear up and I was like oh come on me it was really sweet and it was it was it, it closed the circle in a way that you felt more grand like I don't know it just hit me differently seeing it all in live action um really liked how the changes they made to this plot in general I love the concept of Triton's daughters all going to a different sea though that's cool like and like they I, I need I wish I had more time to like really spend on their looks I didn't personally need the da sisters in it like they didn't really contribute anything special in my opinion but as a device for why Ariel is late and not present at something and they didn't have the concert, I thought that was a nice, like, tie-in. You know? And the gag is that, like, all of the other sisters as they get older are allowed to leave. You know what I mean? And, like, Ariel's like... Well, Ariel's 16 only. That's true. Why. But yeah, I did, um, without giving any spoilers, I'll just say, like, the scene where Ariel helps Max is really sweet. I liked that addition. 
Max comes off very well in the film. There's no chef, which we were so excited. We hated that scene in The Little Mermaid. It's my least favorite scene. Yeah. Um, also, the, I was worried about, not worried, I was very interested to see how they were going to handle Vanessa. And they, like, Vanessa they did very well on. Well done, Vanessa. Yeah, she was pretty spot on. Yeah. That was like the... Um, new music, it's taken me a while to grow on it, but I actually don't mind some of the new stuff now. Yeah, Scuttlebutt's fun. I actually didn't listen to that originally because I was like, you How know, it's going to be obnoxious, Aquafina. But then, like, when you actually see it in the movie, it's really fun. And, like, I liked Scuttle a lot. Sebastian's funny. Like, they were, yeah. like, I, they really highlighted those. Flounder was... was he's a dud. We can, we can yeah. send him home. You didn't need him either. <laughs> um... Yeah. It was good. I really, I, I, I definitely really liked And something that you said that I didn't think about was like how I did feel watching the underwater scenes. I was, it was magical. It, it was, was whimsical. So pretty. Yeah. Yeah. So that was just our short little like non-spoiler review. So we, we're going to get into these princess blind bags. I found these at the Target Disney store, which is so exciting. These are kind of older, I think. So are these all the same series? Yeah. Okay, so I need to show series one Series 25. So of course we hope we get Eric, um, but there's Ariel, Eric, King Triton, Flounder, Sebastian, Ursula, Max, Scuttle, Chef Louie, Exclusive A and Exclusive B. I feel like one of these is Vanessa. For sure. Mm. And then one of them is probably just another area. I feel like we opened this before and we got a cake Chef Louis. Yeah, we got like three. Also, chef the heart's still there in Ariel's hair. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. I really want a Triton. And yeah, okay. I hope we got Triton to go on your backpack. Well, it's hard because that one has a Triton on it. Although, you could put it on the other side of Alright, I'll go first. Come on, Triton. Anyone but King Louis. Don't give him that much credit. He's not a king. Uh oh. What's the scuttlebutt? Oh, da da da. That's our first scuttle upper. He he's cute. He's to scale. He's wacky. Okay. I like that. I I support this scuttle. Come on, and I like that the keychain is like te like tealy green and like he's orange. It's just a good color match. Uh, what's the scuttlebutt? That's cute. All right. This one. I also want a Max for a Max. It's funny, we were trying to decide which bags to bring to the movies, and I brought Ursula. He brought Triton. I completely forgot we had Max too, but actually the Max looks so different in the new movie that like I'm glad I didn't go that route. Did you get Max? I got King Triton. <gasps> oh. Ooh. That looks awesome. Come on, Crown. Good job, Triton. So I will say, though, in the movie, like, he, his acting isn't the best in the movie. I mean, some scenes were great, but, like, I don't know. Overall, he didn't give as much Triton vibes as I wanted. Because, like, the arm thing even didn't really look like his biceps. It just looked like material. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What's also, uh, even though Triton is not shirtless, he has armor on in the movie and he's not shirtless the way he always is, we, there are two gratuitous Eric shirtless scenes. Uh-oh. For said, all you thirsties out there. <laughs> all right. Uh-oh. It's <sighs> Melissa McCarthy. Oh, I thought it was Chef Louie. Oh, I like it that she's holding her, uh, the little thing that's her lipstick. She's oh. putting on, she has like puckered lip and she's putting on makeup. Also, oh, her lips are like half done too. Yeah, like, because she's like, <laughs> um, also this is smaller for an Ursula. Her, she's like, they, other versions of her. Well, Melissa McCarthy's skinnier than regular Ursula. Also, why is she gray and not purple? I don't know, comment below on why she all looks one color. But what I, or that her, if her hair should be whiter then. But what I love is what I was telling Timmy is that like in her little hand is that little like sea creature that she squeezes and turns into lead lipstick. Ugh, so good. I loved, Melissa McCarthy I thought did a very good job. I yeah. was very happy with her. I was 
thinking she was going to kind of like do Saturday Night Live as too much. And be too funny. Yeah. But she grounded and her in very like, real reality. Not even funny, but like annoying. She would have yeah. wanted Rudolph the movie and yeah. just tried to be too extra. But it was good. She did great. Uh, oh, we got Prince uh, Eric. Oh. Um, That's a good Prince Eric. Wow, we're getting all our favorites. That's good. Look at those eyes. What's the scuttlebutt? Da -da -da -da. Uncharted waters. Oh, that's his song. That's right. <gasps> Yay! Oh my gosh, we're doing really well because we got Ariel with her heart in her hair <laughs> and a shell. That's a good Ariel. Oh, uh, look at her little tailsy. Her tail was... Like, when you see, like, the normal Little Mermaid tails, you're like, oh, it's a tail. But, like, the tails that they had on these mermaids were, like, really cute. They were pretty. It makes me wonder now that we've come so far in animation that I wonder if we're going to get live action Finding Nemo. Just putting it out there. I hope not. I hope not, but look. Some movies just don't need a live action. Well, Lion King didn't need one, and we got no, one. Oh, and that was awful. Look at the heart in her hair. And then her back and her little tail, and she's holding her seashell, covering her... Purple she shells. She sells. Oh, I also liked how we got guessed her name. That was sweet too. Yeah, that's cute. All right, I'm gonna do one as a short. Why can't it be a tall? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute. Oh, it's a little guppy. Oh, that's a good keychain too. That's a good flounder. Better than the, him in the movie. I mean, I will say like people were saying. Ew, what is this flounder? But he was more yellow when you saw the actual movie. But, I mean. Oh, this is a great one. Work, mama. All right. You said, wait, you said you got these at the Disney store? No. Target and Target. Online or in person? In person. The Disney store and Target. Oh, that's when store. I went. I'll link that video above and below. I did a shop with me. Oh. Weird looking. He's so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just by your face, I thought I was gonna be one of the. the... No, I'm so excited by like the fact that we haven't like knock on wood, we're getting like doing a great pull. I like this because he's to scale and he's a little crabby. What I also learned in the movie uh, is that one lot uh, crab hand is normally bigger than the other, so that was fun. A little happy singing crab. Oh wow. We yeah, you're right. We do have the first top row. I know, it's like, this is really good. Alright, so like, let's hope B U and B. Yeah. That'd be incredible. Okay, I have a duplicate flounder. Mm. Alright. I really want Max to complete I this. Know, Come on, Max. Well, Tim, you're gonna have to make room on your back for Max! Oh. Look at his little tonsy! <laughs> his little body. Oh, he's so good. Oh, That's I like this. So this is a good Max. Max! Boy, where are you? Look at him, a little shaggy dog with his tongue out. Little sitted, little waggity tail tail. Oh, this is gonna look so cute on Tim's lounge fly. Okay, this couldn't have been better. We got every single one we wanted. Except exclusive A and B. Yeah. If, if there is a Vanessa, though, because you could put the Vanessa one on your Ursula bag. So, yeah, let's hope, like, it's one of the mysteries and not Chef Louie. Oh. So the life ruiner was Flounder. Uh-oh. But I think, like, I was trying to feel a little bit, which these are super hard because it has the Kuiper. But, like, just, I knew Max would be bigger. And then I knew Triton would be bigger. And like Chef Louis that same kind of size. So I was like, uh, do I? And then I was like, okay, I'll just do it. So like, yeah. Good pulls, Tim. You did very wow. well. Wow. This was good. This was really good. Because like we if we had not gotten like the core group of what we wanted, this would have been not as wonderful. Yeah, and I like this scuttle. Mm -hmm. This looks really I cool. like actually the friend, all four of the animals way more than I normally, because I normally don't gravitate towards them, but like together they're, like they're really good. Yeah, this Ursula is the only one that kind of looks a little bit weird. Because she looks like she's dying. We should gray. maybe paint her purple or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to say my favorite though is the Triton, because I, this is going to go in my backpack. 
My favorite, surprisingly, is Scuttle. Just over my like, yeah. Oh wow! Just the way it looks, like he looks exactly like the movie. Cause they, it's a Scuttle vibe. They, nor <laughs> they normally like look funky. I.e., this like Eric's, you know. Or in another video, the, some of the print, the bell face. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. So um, you'll have to let us know what your favorite keychain we pulled and what you guys thought of the movie. We're very curious because I'm reading mixed reviews really? online oh. from like my friends or whatever. But yeah, we're cu always curious and we'll love to chat with you guys below in the comments. So also give us a like. Yes, and if you're not a subscriber and enjoy Disney game, pop culture, and lifestyle related content, be sure to hit the subscribe button so we notified for future videos. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for joining us. We hope you had a wonderful day and we can't wait to see you under the sea in our next video. Take care and be well. Bye! Bye.